like the best team to head to Worlds as they crush the Nexus and crush Clutch Gaming. But, I mean, the whole idea is good. Like, we're top side, we don't really want to deal with this. We're yeah, gonna we're try to deal with this in case when any support showing. Yeah. And so, uh, this is always going to be a winning play. Whether they troll or not, we should be able to get top side control off of this. Bots already, like, the maps for the game is already doomed, so we just want to get Harold to try to get out of this. So when I see, when I see Nibia, yeah, they definitely did not close out the top. They're going to call Tanner time. Do you think you'll get a nice Tanner time? I don't know. Are you gonna cry? What do you mean too far away? I'm not gonna cry. Why? Why would I cry? No, we're not crying. It's fucking me shit on third, CLG. Third, fourth match, man. If I was first, second, I won. Fucking cry. That would be a good cry. Yeah. We'll cry. When I would have cried. I would have cried if we beat Tell. I'm not oh, crying at Gauntlet either. Why? Because I know that we're the best. We're the best team in fucking NA. Uh, so we're going true, to Worlds no matter fucking what. If that's I don't go to Worlds, I'm crying because I'm fucking mad. You know what they say? You cry when you when you're born, and then you cry when you die. <laughs> no, you, you, you cry. That, that was what are you I'm calling you a Continues to perform here in the summer split. Third place on the line. Down, running towards his squad. Skarner not too far away. He's gonna wait for the squad to come around. Find another rear. There's the body flame flash. He's gonna get back over the wall. He was a little bit, but it's not gonna be enough. First blood comes through. But the re-engage is here. Hooney there with Lyra. A lot of damage towards Quigley. No flash on that character. They could kill him. In comes Vulcan. The trade kill is in. Now Ruin's there as well. The whole squad coming across. Okay. Burst. That's what they're going for. Again, quick burst. Wall locked down on a Gragas. AP Gragas is gone already. Zyle comes out, not a whole lot being done. Demonte, so taking the front lines, is able to kite it away, but Ruin wants a little bit more. He's gonna be found out. They pull him right back in. More time being bought by Volk, and a two for zero to clutch. And once again, CLG forced to run away. Thank you, person, and don't get the kill. Now they're going okay. two going on Demonte. Here we go, CLG looking for the second kill of the game. Demonte double dashes back outwards, but he's gonna get flashed onto. Has to get the Q back up. Doesn't find the knockback. Finds the kill, 1v2. Get traded back, but that's still big for Demonte. Coming in for CLG, Cody Sun kites backwards, gets away from Ruin. Not gonna be found, but the one kill comes through on a Vulcan already. PoE staying alive. The barrel comes in. Hooney gets a kill. Ruin could be next. Tries to kill Cody. Can't quite do it. Instead, it's Wiggly who falls. Three kills for Clutch. Just a cost. He can't even defend. And then hit for number three. They got a fight. Oh, a lot of damage comes across. Cody's on a pretty low HP, but the engage comes across. They might knock down Hooney. The big stun comes in. And it's a one for zero. Now to the back is the support size now as well. And Demonte at the front line holding up. And Cody's son still able to free fire. As what's going to be next if we get picked off. And that's a triple kill already. This is a fight that Clutch Gaming are going to win. It's Stick Safe. He's just a kill in the third place match. Cody's son takes the work in his own hands. An eight and zero game for the Kaisa. And Clutch Gaming will strike first here in Detroit, taking down CLG in game one. Goodbye. When the players get here, everyone's level. Yeah. No, nobody's yeah. excited at all. Really. Come here. We cannot play. We cannot push until like two because he's yeah, just gonna push out. Yep. yep. And Cody, if you're gonna look for like an alternative macro shadow play, just take your time. Right? If it's free, if it looks like perfect, take it. Otherwise. You're just chilling. Okay. Hey, Caitlin, okay. just, just, just go Caitlin. That's real nice time. Maybe if they pick CK, I can just play some stuff. Long cross. Six. It could be a big fight, but here's a true nice. On to Stick Say, the jump to the side. Damn it, comes across. First blood already in for the Clutch Gaming bottom lane. A beautiful start here. Cody could also teleport in. Looks like they're going to get at the Herald. Running it down, looks like he's gonna have the ignite in this fight in time. Picks up cleanly, here's the engage. Goal comes across, big stun comes through for Devon. 
Dante over the top. Six is trying to stay alive. Explosive cast right back in though, and they burn him down at two for zero. You don't mess with Clutch's Rift Hero. <laughs> They'll come for you, even if they're on the other side of the map. They needed that one, but now Clutch is trying to get revenge. Oh, he's solo out. Lyra, legendary. Just that now on this one. The knockup. They're gonna find fire from the stopwatch. It buys the crucial time. The kill still comes through. The re-engage this time for Demonte. Making another kill now with CLG forced to run away, but they might just find the re-engage. Demonte walks in. He wants to find this one. They're gonna get six say He's burning down. Cannot quite claim the kill. They're gonna snowball down to the bottom lane now as well. As the second inhibitor is under fire. Third inhibitor now actually is up gonna drop. Right as the engage comes in a big stun, but the front line is still running low on health. Oh it's already two for zero. The Diana re-engage is not enough. A single kill for Ruin, but he drops as well. It's Dick Say versus the world. Four to chase in. He gets a double rip flash the way, but you're not gonna stop Clutch Gaming. They're all here. They're looking for the last couple of shots. The ace comes in, and Clutch Gaming gonna take this game down. It's a 2 0 start to the best of five. I didn't know. Hey, so you guys, let's focus up still. We're still in the series. Yeah, yeah. We, we won yeah. two games, but we're still, we're still playing. <laughs> CLG shows signs of life, and they take the first step toward the reverse sweep. And that's gonna be it. You have to believe the knockup is there, but the health bar's just too big. After getting dumped down in the first two games, two big wins for CLG. We're going to game five. CLG fans should never have doubted them. They will complete the reverse sweep. They will knock down Clutch Gaming. They will bypass the first round of the regional qualifier. And CLG look like the best team to head to Worlds as they crush the Nexus and crush Clutch Gaming. It's not okay, losing's not like okay, but the nice thing is we do have Gauntlet and we do get to play these guys again. So we'll see them again. And in a game like this, in a stage like this, uh, you're gonna be tested mentally. And we're building resiliency and we're building grit. And the next time you guys find yourselves in a similar situation, we won't make the same mistakes, all of us, right? All seven of us. And a lot of it is, it's a mental game, like everyone's been saying. So we really need to take this and we're playing against FlyQuest and Gauntlet. We gotta respect them. Definitely. If they take a game, we gotta fucking deal with it. And yeah. we gotta go into the next game with confidence that we're gonna win and that we just messed up and it was done. We got, we got some work to do, but as long as we work on our mentality and just have confidence throughout the whole series like we did against TL, we win this series nine out of 10 times. I want everyone to fucking think about how badly they wanna go to Worlds, how badly we wanna fucking win. I do not want to play against CLG, against FlyQuest, against TSM, and lose. These fucking teams are not better than us. We deserve to be at Worlds. We need to try fucking harder. That's how I feel. And how you can do it. It's a scar that should hurt, though. Right? It's something you should learn from. And I think, like, what needs to happen is you need to make the decision tomorrow morning, right, what you're going to do for the next two to three weeks between now and Gauntlet. Are you gonna like dwell in this misery and capitulate and fuck off Gauntlet? Are you gonna take it as a lesson, step up and get better? 